Yeah, 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 yeah. It's everybody's favorite fat man, Jelly Roll. Y'all are tuned into The Pit. You are now watching The Pit. Fat man, baby. What's up, everybody? Don here with The Pit Sports and Entertainment. Joining me here today is Jelly Roll. How you doing, brother? Absolutely great, baby. I feel good. Are we going to talk sports? I, only if you want to. I just, I just feel like it'd be something different. Y'all do sports. I want to talk sports. That's perfect. We don't, we'll get, we'll get, to, no, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> so I just watched you out there um, perform on the third stage. You're a rapper here at uh, Rock in the Range. What's it feel like being a rapper at a mostly heavy metal hard rock festival? You know, I feel blessed to be in that category, and uh, I feel like to be considered the rap act of Rock on the Range that we really rock the fuck out of Rock on the Range. You know what I mean? So. I feel like that's uh, the beautiful thing about what we do. Good, good. And what I loved about it is you had slight technical issues up there. Didn't panic, didn't do anything, kept you cool, and you just kept rocking on. That was that was wonderful, so I commend you for that. Thank you, man. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all seen that for what it was. Cause it was a, it was an experience in my life where I was like, I don't even know how to react here. I just want to start throwing shit. That's not the thing to do, you know what I mean? But it was, right. So we did it. It was cool. It was fun. Yeah, the crowd seemed to be uh, be digging it pretty well. Uh, they, I was here last year. We had uh, like Tech Nine and other rappers here. They seemed to really dig the uh, the mesh with the hip hop and and the hard rock and metal. Do you have any other uh, festival plans that are kind of similar to Rock in the Range coming up? Um, we're just kind of starting to book them for next year. We did Louder Than Life last year. That's kind of how we got here. Um, and I, I really believe that we're going to be one of the rap acts that'll be a staple here. Like, I just believe in my heart that we'll be back next year and, and a bigger platform. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I just really believe that. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, man, I think we're just getting started. Good, good, good. So you have a brand new record that just came out on Friday the 13th of all days, Sobriety Sucks. Talk to me a little bit about that and where uh, the concept came for that album. The Board of Probation and Parole prohibits me from smoking marijuana or doing any drugs. So I had to get sober. And I jokingly, I just always be like, sobriety sucks, sobriety sucks. And it kind of stuck. So, and I feel like everybody took it a different way. Like, my people that party send me Snapchats and I'm snorting coke, like, sobriety sucks, I'll never do it. And then my people who are actually moved by my music, like, that are touched, that are sober, are like, dude, wow, thank you, man. We have rough days and we relate to this. You know what I mean? And that's great. And we, we dig the whole shit. So it's awesome. It kind of relates to everybody. Good, good, good. How do you feel this record compares to anything else that you've done? Is it anything newer or do you just stick to the kind of the same style that you have been doing? We're always evolving, man. Music meets us where we are. I feel like a lot of people try to go chase music and we just let music meet us where we are. So wherever we are in our life at the time we're making that music is the exact representation you'll get of us on that album. How'd you feel about performing in the rain? Did you have any issues with that at all? Dude, I thought it was cool nobody had an issue. There was literally thousands of people standing out there. It was like, fuck this rain, fuck your technical issues, we're finna sit here. And I got drunk, I got shit-faced right mid-set. I was like, fuck it, I'm finna drink this thing away. So it was awesome. Right, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I apologize if, uh, you know, things are kind of poking out. It's a little cold and, uh, and wet, so I apologize. His nipples are shooting at me, y'all. I turned them on. But he did, he did. He gave me a shot of whiskey before, and uh, yeah, it kind of helped to it. So we kind of joked about it before we started here. We are a sports and entertainment company. He goes, are we going to talk sports now? So I got to ask, are you into any sports at all? I am an MMA fanatic. Good, good, good. That's not bad. You got any uh, any main fighters that you're uh, you're really down to earth with? You know, man, I, I'm, I'm like a, a like a fan of the genre. Like, you know, like sometimes you're such a fan of the genre of certain musics that you don't have a favorite band no more. You just love the genre and what the genre produces. That's how I feel about MMA. When I first started really getting into it forever, I was a big Diaz brother fan. Uh, Nick Diaz first initially, yeah. you know, and I just loved it. I feel like they were the white trash version of me from the West Coast. They were like, fuck you, and I feel like that's how we are. So I just really understood them, you know what I mean? And uh, But now I just love the game. Like, we literally do not miss a fight. Bellator, UFC, even World Series of Fighting, man, we catch them all. How do you feel about that Conor McGregor situation? Dude, I just think that it's, uh, it's, it's all business and politics, and I think that it's all media, and it's just going to make for a big fight for him. And, you know, I'm, I'm about whatever's best for the sport. So some people don't like Conor because he's brash and he's cocky. Like, some people here don't like me because I rap. 
but you can't deny that I'm good for the energy of the place. You know what I mean? Like you can't deny that like I brought the morale up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, brother, he's your cup of tea or not? He's a great cup of tea. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Your, I, I, yeah, your energy was sick out there. I I, I loved it. I would definitely come around and uh, and check you out again. Yeah. Just mentioning that. Do you have any other tour plans at all? Like are, just you, just you yourself. We are touring indefinitely. We just did ten shows. After we did ten shows with Cypress Hill, we got like another 40, 50 cities on the board, and then we're touring with Yellow Wolf this fall, and doing like 50 some cities with him. So we're always touring, dude. Look us up, JellyRoll615.com. Good, good, good. On that note, I'm gonna let him get back to his uh, very busy press schedules here. Yeah. Mike. Make sure you check him out, Jelly Roll. He did a great job here at Rocking the Range.